You know how in movies like Pixar's Cars, the vehicles just feel alive? They race, they talk, they hang out, and it all looks incredibly cool. While the stories and funny lines are great, there's a ton of super smart computer work going on behind the scenes to make those metal characters and their world feel believable. Let's pop the hood and see how they pull off some of that digital magic. First things first, before Lightning McQueen can even think about racing, he's gotta be built inside the computer. That starts with modeling, where artists carefully build the 3D shapes of everything you see. Every car curve, every building in town, even the desert rocks. Then comes rigging, which is like giving the cars digital bones and controls. This lets the animators actually pose and move them around, making them ready for their big screen debut. Okay, so now we have digital puppets, but how do they make them bump into each other or skid realistically? That's where Rigid Body Dynamics, RBD, comes in. It's basically smart software that knows how solid objects should react when they hit each other or get pushed based on things like how heavy they are or how slippery the ground is. It's super important for race scenes or anytime cars get close, my handling a lot of the little bumps and nudges automatically and making sure things look like they obey gravity, mostly. But here's the thing, just letting the physics simulation go wild doesn't always look cool or tell the story right. A real crash might be messy or over too fast for the movie, so the artists have to step in and direct the physics. Think of it like being a stunt coordinator for computers. They can add invisible forces to nudge things the right way, tell the simulation where to start or stop, or, or just tweak the settings like friction or bounciness over and over until the crash looks awesome and serves the scene, not just random. And it's not just about how the cars move, it's also about how they look. Real cars get dirty, scratched, and dented, right? That's another layer that makes these animated characters feel real. Artists use texturing and shading to give the cars their history. They paint digital textures for things like color, rust, and dirt, and create complex shaders that tell the computer how light should bounce off, making paint look shiny, chrome look like chrome, and rust look rough. Adding little details like decals, mud splatters, or scratches really sells the idea that these cars live in their world. Now, what about those big crowd scenes, like at the races or just everyday traffic? Animating hundreds of cars by hand would take forever. That's where crowd simulation is a lifesaver. They use software where each background car gets a little digital brain with simple rules. Stay on the road, don't crash into others, maybe cheer a little if they're in the stands. The computer uses a library of different car models and colors, so it doesn't look like a clone army. It's a super efficient way to make places look busy and alive without driving the animators crazy. So yeah, making a movie like Cars is a huge job. It's this cool mix of creative ideas and really smart tech. Getting the physics right, even when you have to bend the rules a bit, adding all those little details like scratches and dirt and filling the world with crowds, it all works together. Next time you watch one of these movies, take a sec to appreciate all the amazing digital craftsmanship that goes into making those cars feel so real. It's pretty incredible stuff.